Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Clank Patacombs. From Dire Wolf Games. Plays two to four players. Box yes. time says 45 to 90 minutes. So, yes. Dire Wolf got the license from back from Renegade. Yeah. And is now publishing... Their own games. Yeah. So, uh, in Clank Catacombs, it basically works just like Clank. Except, now you have tiles that will come out and that will replace the static map that you will normally have in Clank. To be honest, I have not played original Clank because Steph said, you know what? We have Clank in space and we really don't need Clank. And I was like, okay, no problem. And I did get to see a little bit of what Clank, the normal experience was like with Clank Legacy, but this is probably the closest that I will get to the normal base game Clank experience uh, without having played actual I mean, Clank. You have played Clank in space. Yes. So that's very similar. It is. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much Clank, but in space. Right. And a, and a uh, somewhat variable map with Clank in space. Yeah, but this is totally variable. This is completely <laughs> variable. As you go, you're getting a new thing unlocked. So it's... Right. You have a stack of tiles you will work through, basically. Right. And I, th I think that that fixes any sort of problems that they might have had in the original Clank. Mm -hmm. So, let's take a look at what you get. So, just like in the original Clank game, you've got your damage board and your rage track. As the dragon progresses up the rage track, it, the dragon is going to get angrier and angrier over time. So, how does the dragon get angrier and what does that have to do with you? Well, inside this bag are a number of black dragon cubes. I believe there are... Uh, 24. Tw is that what it is? Pretty sure. Do, 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 do. Looking here, 24 dragon cubes inside the bag. Now, each of us has a supply of cubes as well. These are called clank cubes. And you might ask, why are they called clank cubes? The game is clank. Well, nobody asked. I was waiting for somebody to ask. Mm. Then you're Azul. No, he's not here. But <laughs> if anyone wonders, why do they have clank cubes? Because you are making noise when you go into the dragon's dungeon and you are trying to take away his artifacts. The more, see, thank you, Wombat. Why are they called clank cubes? So, as you go through the dungeon and you are taking stuff, you are also going to be making noise with your armor and your weapons and everything. And you are going to go ahead at some point and go clank. You're going to stumble around the dungeon and that's going to wake the dragon up. Dragons like to sleep. Dragons like their stuff. If you wake them up or you take their stuff, they tend to get mad. And when they get mad, they're going to draw more and more and more cubes from the bag as the rage track progresses. What happens when the dragon draws one of your cubes out of the bag? Well, the dragon damages you by placing this cube on the damage track. When you have uh, cubes all the way up the track, all the way up and covering up the skull symbol, you have died. You're dead. Actually, you have been knocked out. Especially if you are not yet into the depths. The depths is the blue region here. If you are... Oh, what is this? Uh, the purple area. The safe zone. This, it, it, it is the safe zone. I was just trying to find the actual, the actual name for the purple zone. Uh, it just says the first four tiles have a different color. The rest is the depths. So, depths, good. Not de uh, not depths. If it's depths, it's bad. If it's not depths, it's good. But all the good stuff is in the depths. So yeah, the goal is to travel from the uh, crypt starting tile, which you'll see right here. You will start out in this room. You notice I've got my little yellow piece. The blue piece is super hard to see on camera, so I am going to be yellow this game. Step is going to be red. Our goal is to get from the crypt out into the depths, take one artifact, and head out. 
you can hold a maximum of one artifact at a time. Now, you'll notice in this artifact stack, where's Ever. the... Not at a time, just... No, well, no, well, yes, well, where's the artifact stack? The artifact, there we go. So the artifact stack is numbered from five all the way down to 20. The first artifact to come up will generally be the number five. Do you want to take it or do you want to try to explore more to get an even better artifact? Because as soon as you take an artifact, you're stuck with that artifact. Unless you get a backpack, which will let you get two artifacts. Yep. That's what I mean by that. So, um, notice here in the market, Steph has a number of things that you can buy, like that backpack I talked about, which will let you hold two artifacts. Um, you can also buy crowns, or you can buy healing potions, or you can buy... Lockpick. Lockpick. Uh, two, it's two. Is that two lockpicks? Oh, yeah. nice. I, I was trying to look for that here uh, in the rules. Anyway, um, as you were exploring along, uh, basically, uh, if you love deck builder games, Clank is a deck builder, you will start off with burgle cards which will give you skill points skill points are what you're going to use to purchase cards from the market uh, this works basically like any other currency like you have uh, coins in dominion for example that will let you purchase things from the market um, these cards are drawn from a stack here these cards are always available as long as they exist as long as the quantity is sufficient for people who want to get the stuff from the market. You will also have sidestep cards, which will give you movement. As you move through the dungeon, going from one room to another room takes one movement, generally. Uh, you will also have scramble, which will have both of those icons. And you'll have a couple of these stumbles. And those stumbles help make Clank. Whenever you get a Clank, it's going to go up here on the Clank board. Anytime that the dragon attacks, uh, buy a little dragon's attack symbol on one of these cards, uh, you are going to put all of these tokens into the bag and draw a number of tokens equal to the rage value. So, the only other symbol that exists that we have not spoken about are the sword symbols. The sword symbols are used to defeat monsters that are found here in this uh in this area down here i actually i think i called this the market technically this is the market uh this pile over here is going to be called the reserve um the reserve is here and this area is the called the dungeon row uh the dungeon row will contain items and creatures that you can defeat uh, if there's ever not a creature here that you can defeat, you can always defeat this goblin. He is always available. If you have two swords to spend, then you can use those to kill him for one gold. Hey, gold is worth victory points. So um, be sure to collect as much gold as possible. And you can kill this goblin as many times as you want. Otherwise, you will kill whatever monster is down here and you will claim whatever reward is on it. So, uh, at a time, you're gonna have five cards. So I'm gonna have five cards in my hand. I'm gonna play all five of these cards in the order that I want. Uh, some of these cards have effect that matters if you have also played other cards here in your play area. Uh, it doesn't matter what order you play those cards in, because if one card makes another card activate and that card makes this other card activate, they will both activate. You don't have to worry about whether you played one first and then another one second. It works much like it does in Star Realms, not like it does in Legendary, where you have to have something and then the second one will trigger if you've already played the first one. It doesn't work like that in Clank. So in this uh, situation here, you see I've got two movement and three skill points. I can spend the skill down here. I can use the movement to go one, two into this crystal cave. Hey, this crystal cave works like the forest does in the normal clank. You will go down here and you are unable to spend any more boots to travel 
out of this space. You're sort of stuck here until the next turn, unless you have a teleport ability that lets you go to the next room. Uh, notice that if you are going to go off the edge uh, to explore, you then take one of these tiles. At the start of the game, there are six of these purple tiles. I take two of them, put them in the box. All the rest of these tiles are depth tiles, as noted by the dark blue color. So let's say I want to travel down this direction here. I will draw this tile. I will flip it over, and I will place this in any orientation that I want, then continuing on to the next room. Um, if for some reason there's an icon that won't let me go down that path, I have to rotate the tile so that I can actually take advantage of that tile. Now notice some of these have footy prints on them. What does that mean? That means it takes an extra boot icon in order to navigate that tunnel. One point for the tunnel, one point for the set of boot prints. And if there was another set of boot prints, it would take yet another boot. Notice that some have monsters on them. The monsters require a sword to defeat, or you can just take a damage by plopping one of your cubes onto your damage track if you want to just go ahead and take that damage. Um, there are a variety of symbols um, around the uh, dungeon that uh, you can interact with. Uh, if you find a market, you can spend seven gold to buy a token from the market board uh, in the bank. Um, now, since gold is victory points, notice getting this 10-point crown seems like it's awful good, but remember, you're spending 7 gold to get it, so you're spending 7 victory points for 10. It is an additional 3 points, so it's not terrible to do, uh, but then you won't have that gold in case something comes up that requires gold to have. Um, the crowns are going to be stacked going from highest to lowest, 10, then 9, then 8. So the benefits go down with every crown purchased. Um, both, uh, uh, any of the other uh, things that you can get at the market are all uh, basically worth a number of victory points. So if you see any numbers in green, that is a victory point uh, number. Um, the other things that you can buy from the market is a blood amulet. It is worth seven points at the end of the game. Um, you have to have at least five damage to buy that item, but when you buy it, immediately heal two damage. So uh, the burglar pick, when you buy it, take two lock picks from the bank. It's also worth two points at the end of the game. The crown, uh, as I mentioned, is worth 10 or 9 or 8. Hey, here's another cool thing that Clank Catacombs has. It has these little lock pick counters. If you see anything that has a lock on it and you want to get into it, you will put this lock pick counter on it that says that this is unlocked not just for you, but for everyone. So if there's a path that has a lock on it, you will put the lock pick on it and it is now available for everyone. Each player starts the game with three lock picks. So, <clears throat> um, every time. Someone takes an artifact. Uh, if where is that the artifact token stuff? Did I take those away? No, you still have you have them. By, nope, by your hand. There you go. Notice that not only does it have a victory point value on it, it's got a little up arrow. That means move the rage, uh, the dragon rage counter up one spot. Anytime you see that that up arrow, that means increase the dragon's rage. Um. Throughout the dungeon, you will also see chests and libraries and prisons. When you see a chest, you're going to get a major secret at random from the bank and reveal it. The major secrets are these great big question marks, and you will flip it over and get whatever is on it. There's a handy token reference guide included with the game that has all of the major and minor secrets as well as all the market items and prisoners that you can free. Um, if you pick a library, use a lockpick on a library, you automatically get one of these secret tomes. These are sort of like the, uh, what's the best one in Dominion? The uh, Province. Province, thank you. Um, this is worth seven victory points, and it costs, other normally it costs seven skill points to get, but uh, the library will give you one of these for free. 
it basically just takes up your hand because it offers you no skill points or boots or swords. Um, it just will give you victory points and consumes a spot in your deck. Uh, but hey, seven victory points, still pretty good. Really good. Uh, just don't die. Just don't die. If you use a lockpick on a prison, you get to immediately free two prisoners. Uh, you will get to take two of the random prisoner tokens from the bank and put them face up in your personal supply. They just have the little prison symbol on them. You flip them over and the prisoner will give you some number of victory points and usually, uh, or sometimes, some sort of special ability. Let's see here. What else have I not yet covered? Um, the crypt is where you start each game and you're trying to get back to the crypt by the end of the game. If you can make it out before the dragon destroys you, you are going to get one of these 20 point tokens. What is that token called? It is. You survived. The, yes, you survived <laughs> token. Um, it is called a mastery token. I yeah. always want to have the right the right thing. There's one for every player. Obviously, you can only get one because you can only get out once. Once you're out, you can't get back in. Four of the 22 depth tiles are haunted by ghosts. Whenever you add a haunted tile to the dungeon, hey, you have to take one of the white ghost cubes, which are now missing. Got them. There they are. They're white. They are white cubes. Anytime one of those comes out, it's going to go back into the clank area, and each player takes one damage. It's really, really bad. It's really bad. It I don't hurt. remember if that was introduced in Clank Legacy or not. I, I remember it in Clank Legacy. Right. But, but it might have been introduced there, is what you're saying. It you might know? have been, but it it's like super been. brutal. If for some reason I don't have any of my Clank tokens to go here for damage, I'm going to place one of the Black Dragon tokens that has already come out of the bag. I'm going to put that on my damage token. So you're not going to escape from the damage just because you don't have any clank tokens remaining. Uh, no, that's not a valid way of surviving. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are some spots that are portal spots. Uh, I believe on the other side of this, we'll flip this over, you'll notice that there is a portal that's available. These portals are connected. Any portal is connected to any other portal. But keep in mind that some of these uh, tunnels are one-way tunnels. I can go out of this tunnel, but not back into this tunnel. Unless I have a teleport. Teleports do let you go against the flow of the uh, tunnel. Yeah, that's really cool. I had an ability last game that gave it to me. Yes. I think yes, it was a major. I think it was a it was either a major secret or a prisoner that gave it to one me. Or one other. or the other. It was awesome. Notice Dev has also put these little monkey tokens here. Uh, those monkey idols are worth five points at the end of the game. They are not considered arch uh, artifacts. Uh, anytime you go into a room that has a minor secret uh, or a monkey idol or a gold or a healing, you can do those once per turn. You can't just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the, into that room on the same turn and get multiple of these tokens. However, you could be here uh, on one turn and pick it up, and then on a the, the next turn, go back and forth and pick that up yet again. Mm -hmm. So you could do that one time per turn. Minor secrets are just like major secrets. They're just smaller. Notice that the minor secrets and the major secrets, the uh, major secrets are quite a bit bigger than the minor ones, and obviously they are better. -er. Uh, you've also got Way Shrines. You can uh, visit a Way Shrine, mark it during your turn as a special action, put one of your cubes in your supply, boom, like that, and I'm going to get one gold. The second Way Shrine I go to, I'm going to put it on that Way Shrine, and boom, I'm going to get two gold. The next Way Shrine that I visit, boom, I'll put that on there, and I'm going to get three gold. Each person can place one time on a Way Shrine. You cannot place multiple times. Anyway, sometime during your turn, you can purchase as many of these cards in the dungeon row as you want, uh, as long as you have enough skill points to acquire them. The skill points that 
uh, you need to purchase a card is down in the bottom. Any victory points are found up here at the top. This one does not have any, uh, but this scavenger companion does. Uh, some cards do have this keyword companion, and some other cards might want multiple companions to be in the deck. Um, for those of you who like flavor text, the flavor text on these cards are super funny and always, I think they are unique on each of these cards. Um, I'm not sure if they are unique on all of these Mercenary and Explorer and Secret Tome cards. Let me take a look. No, these all look to be all the same, but uh, a lot of times, a lot of these will be different. Notice some of these cards will say acquire on it. You are going to get this as soon as you acquire the card. Then when you acquire it, you're going to place this in your discard pile and it will be available the next time you reshuffle your deck, just like any other standard deck builder. Some of these cards will say arrive. As soon as this arrives in the dungeon row, this effect is going to happen. Um, sometimes a card will ask you to trash a card. Trashing a card means to take it completely out of the game, not just discarding it. Uh, anytime you see a monster, it is going to be in red. These do not stay in your deck. When you defeat the monster, you're going to get the thing that is in the middle of the card, like on this one. It says defeat, take a lockpick. Finally, the thing that you do not want to see are the dragon attack cards. And all of those have a little dragon on it right here. And that's when you put all the cubes in the clank bag and draw a number of cubes equal to the dragon rage amount. Anytime you see one of those, it's going to pop out and then just stay there. It's not going to hurt you every single turn uh, that they stay up. Wombat asks, will the portals help you find the cake? And the answer is no, because... As everyone knows, the cake is a lie. What happens when the dragon draws one of your cubes out of the bag? Wombat says, thank you for asking, Wombat. I'm glad that Wombat is here asking the questions. Because otherwise, these things would never probably get answered. Um, I do appreciate Wombat. Um, anyway, at the end of your turn, you are going to clear your play area, putting everything in the discard pile. You're going to draw a new hand of five cards. If for some reason you need to draw a card, not just when it's empty, but when you need to draw a card and it's empty, reshuffle your discard pile and draw cards just like every other standard deck builder. Then and only then do you refill the dungeon row. These do not refill on the fly. Then finally, check for a dragon attack. If you see any of those dragon attack cards, boom, we're going to do the dragon bag. That should... More arrival cards, but yeah. Yeah. Anytime that you, uh, anytime that you put anything in the dungeon row and it says arrive, you will immediately do the arrive step. Um, basically, you're trying to get one artifact and get out alive. The game ends when either all players have escaped or have been knocked out, as everyone knows. Maybe not really knocked out. <laughs> if you are knocked out in the purple zone, you still get the entire value of your hand. Uh, and gold pieces that are around. The little imps don't run off with your gold. You do actually get to keep your gold because uh, eventually you will come to, as long as you are not too far into the dungeon, you should be able to make it out from that point. But you will not get the mastery token unless you make it all the way back to the crypt. Mm. Uh, you're going to get all the values of your uh, coins, the points for the cards in your deck, the value of your artifact, and any other tokens that you acquire, like those little monkey idol tokens. There are also dragon eggs. Guess what happens when you take a dragon egg? You angered the dragon. Yeah, he's going to get mad. He's going to be mad at you. Um, I didn't know this until somebody mentioned it, because I did not read this uh, in the rules. You can actually use the Clank Adventuring Party expansion so that five or six players can play Clank. Check that out. Cool, Pretty cool. cool. Anyway, super fun game. Uh, the dot has chosen me to go first. Now, here's the thing. The first player to go gets three clank cubes already in the clank area. They're not in the bag, but they are basically on deck to go into the bag. Second player puts two. Third player puts one. Fourth player puts zero in the bag. 
Let me go ahead and shuffle my deck. Read right. those cards. I need to read these cards for Steph because she is across the table from them. The Waystone, uh, obviously you can see whether it has symbols on them from across, yeah. but you can't read. You can trash this to teleport from one way shrine to another. It's a Waystone. Okay. Sneak attack, three swords, and minus two clank. Now, if Steph plays a minus two clank card, but she has no clank up here, uh, she can sort of bank that minus two clank, but only for this turn. Um, so if she were to get two clank sometime later in that turn, she will can use that minus two clank to basically cover it. It's minus two clank? Minus two clank. And when you acquire it, you get a sword. Hmm. So it's like super good. Cost three. I'm pretty, pretty sure you can see the costs. Um, this is just for the symbols. Um, the arrival was each player alone on a square must rotate it to a new orientation. And we're not alone, so ta-da. Um, if you generate six or more skill during this turn, get a heart. If you gain at least three coins this turn, draw a card. And this is just when you acquire it, you take a minor secret. Steph has put a prediction up. Steph has already had her cards already ready to go. Looks like I've got three skill and a boot and a clank. So there's my move. There's my clank. Ouch. I almost never get to score points in clank in space. I actually got to score points the other day. In you did. I was really impressed. Matter of fact, two other people died. Yeah. Wombat said in the OG... Clank, I always pushed my luck too long and got stuck inside. Yep. That's <laughs> true. Shanna said, hope you win. Took me three tries to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out. Do you watch? Wombat said, but Great Omelette's also some really fantastic neurotoxin um, for the portals. Never mind. That's, that's like, yeah, you don't, I don't, I don't, you don't understand the portal thing. Yep. Jelpia says, normally I go for Steph, but this is a push your luck. <laughs> she is so right. Don't disagree. Yeah. Um, the sneak attack, I'm looking at that rather seriously. That does give three swords. You don't start off with any swords, so that is a major consideration. Boots are nice. I like boots. I like pillage, but I don't have any ways of getting gold at the moment. Um, it's a really hard choice, but I think I'm going to have to go for the sneak attack, even though I can't use the sword right now. Oh, my God. What? Goodness, what? Sorry, Steph, on this side. Oh, the omelets were the dragon eggs. Oh, got it. Yeah, they do make good omelets. <laughs> Just don't tell the dragon. Trouble Cross. It's also minus two clank. Acquire each other player gets plus two clank. Okay, so let's go ahead. Look at that. Four, four skill. Add the clank. So, um, you might want to move your cards up a little because your the box hides your card layout. Yeah, so just be sure. Here, throw that over there. What are you getting? I don't know. I don't know what the card Oh, do you have a plus? I didn't see your clank. So for four... You can purchase any of these except for the double cross. What's the one in the corner? This one. If you generate six or more skill this turn, get a heart. Okay. Otherwise, it's, it's two skill by itself. It's also two points. No, I'm going to take the two boot card. Two boot. How boot that? How boot it. And we reveal a marble guardian. If you defeat it. Oh, it's a dragon attack. If you defeat it, place a new tile next to your current one and choose to teleport to any room on the new tile or get two gold. Well, let's do this. Steph, it's your turn. I'll let you do the honors I'm for the happy. dragon bag. Dragon is at rage three right now. Oh. All black. All black. I like all black. Nope. That's two black and a red. How about one damage? Ouch, Steph. So it looks like I've got four and one and plus one clank. 
well, clearly that's my movement. Clearly that's my clank. Now I just have to decide which of these cards I want to buy. I do like the scavenger. Let's me have a minor secret immediately. Uh, though the divining rod, I'm not wasting any skill by getting that. I doubt I'm going to get those hearts anytime soon. But that's something to maybe to shoot for in the future. Uh-oh. Dragon Rage again. You get to pull this time. I do get to pull this time. The Rose Quartz that just came out, it's a gem. Minus two clank and draw a card. However, when you acquire it, plus two clank. One, two, three. Boom. That's my damage. Looks like we are good at drawing damage for ourselves. Right there. Put it there. What'd you get? Okay. Ooh, where I am. How about one more? Well... How about on the clank board? <laughs> I'm you wanted to be in our ring. The two sword boot card. Two sword boot. That's a pillage card. Yeah. So this says if you gain at least three gold this turn, draw a card. Seems really good if you can get that gold. Yep. All right, you're drawing up, and here comes a an expert guide. He's expensive though. We have not yet sleeved this. Which way will he go? Yeah, I've got the critter way, the footstep way, and the blank way. Well, looks like I have three swords. Well, you know. So this is a hard choice. <laughs> Because if I defeat him, I place a new tile next to my current one, and I can put it over here. You could. Not that that's going to help you at all. Uh, not right now. But if there's any good things in there, they're over here, not where you can get to them. But if you have something, I can't get to. Anyway, just throwing it out there. Plus, the weird thing is that this would not be in the depths. It is a little different. So. Oh, and I have a plus one clank with this, too? Blah. But you have a minus two. I do have a minus two clank. And I have four to spend. Not quite enough for these fives. Boo. Oh, and look. If I generate six or more, that didn't happen either. Yeah, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm gonna hold off on playing the plus one clank. Well, it's not gonna matter because You're still gonna it doesn't matter the order. I'm still at minus one if I for some reason generate one more clank. Uh I am going to go ahead and defeat the marble guardian. Tell him. And teleport to any room in the new tile. Especially since I have no boots. So how about that? Um, throw it in the discard pile. I'm going to go over here next to, and I don't have to teleport into it if there's nothing any if there's not anything that's that good. Well, this is not fantastic. The purple ones aren't fantastic. They are not. And I can just not go here and collect two gold. You know what? I think two gold is the way to go with this. Just claim the two gold. Hmm. So, looks like I just have four to buy. This is acquired. Take a minor secret. He can play it on that side because of the special ability that he got. Yes. So I killed the Marble Guardian. And it says that I can place the tile next to your current one. So I can just place it wherever I want on that one. So if I were exploring, I would move off 
the edge and have to place exactly right there. Right, into the space. So you are correct in normal situations. Um, I take a minor secret. I'm going to let Steph draw because it's way across the table from me. Minor? Minor, yes. And it is a healing potion. Well, there's no reason to keep this around, so... Might as there's, well use there's it. There's no reason to keep it up there, so... And I still have one more to spend. I can get the Waystone. I can trash it to teleport from one way shrine to another. I mean, it's a point. Why not? And that's a lot of cards to be drawing. So yeah. this is a little scary here. Um, plus two clink and draw two cards. Worth two for each artifact and each monkey idol you have. And this is when you use th these purple cards. I did not mention because we didn't even have any purple cards. These purple cards are used once. And you notice they're not worth any points because they are used once in this card. They do not stay in your deck. Yeah. Yep. So we did get a dragon attack. This thirst for adventure card. And drawing three out. And looks like another damage for Steph. Really bad. Steph, why is it you're always the one that gets damaged? Because I am not lucky. <laughs> you are not lucky. Looks like you have a few swords and a boot and a clank. I'm going to go here. Spending a sword, I'm assuming? Yep. One of your two. How about that tile? Yeah, let's do that. Uh huh. How do I want to do this? Ziv, the reason I chose to put the tile over here is so she couldn't get anything from it if it happened to be good. I ended Unfortunately, it didn't happen to be good. <laughs> and then I get three to buy. Three to buy. You can afford this underground river. I think I'm going to need it. Uh, this plus two clank and draw two cards. That could be dangerous. No, I'm going to go. That's about it. Everything's expensive. I'm going to go with the heal one. Yeah. All right. Seems good. And this Goes is what you used once. And here's your cube back. Yep. No no uh dragon flame this time. My turn is super easy because it's four burgles and a stumble. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> that well, I mean it's it's four. This elven sword lets me draw a card, so it does not consume any space, and it is two swords, so hey, why not? Why not? Why not? Hey, how about some dragons? <laughs> Every time. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Uh, when you use it, it's minus two clank. It's a darkened alcove. One, two, all three. All three. Mm, that's better. Better for you. <laughs> what is a new card? I told you. It is minus two clank when you use it. Mm. It's a one use. Yeah, I see. All right, I've got two cards. I need three mo. All right. Got some clank going over there. Chicky Beast has got to go have a good night. Bye, Jelpia. Was, uh, no, uh, Wombat, rather. Wombat, have a good night. Not Jelpia. Minus 10 DKP. What? Oh, no. What? What's DKP? Yeah, what's that? Here, I'm going here. I get some DKP? One, two, three. You're going to go here? Yeah. What? Oh, you have three boots. I got three boots. You're moving. That's some poo right there. That doesn't look that good at all. Well, you I'm know. I'm going to get a monkey idol. You're next to the monkeys. That is one and two, three. For those of you keeping track at home. That monkey idol is worth three, uh, five. So Plus, this is worth two for every uh, artifact and monkey idol. She can't afford it, but it is something to look at. Oh, dragon kill points. World of Warcraft currency. <laughs> nice. I'm going to get the Esplor. Mm. Going to get an Esplor. That's the first time we've gone to the... Uh, reserve. Reserve. I haven't even looked at my cards here. What do we got? What? Are you kidding me? More stumbles? 
It's just better to go to the reserve because then Dragon won't be angry with us. Well, there is that. Notice this is minor secret uh, spot. Every time you go here, you can get a minor secret. But remember, one time per turn. All right, there's my one pl my single clanky. I've got four to spend. I've got two boots. Well, let's go off the edge here. Even though this is a guaranteed one, you know, might as well go this way. Notice this is the locked chest. It's a one-time use only. So let's go down this way. Ooh, look at all of this. If I go this way, I can unlock the Ooh, prisoner. That's so fun. <laughs> you do love the prisoners. Now notice that consumed both of my boots. All right, hook me up with two prisoners. I like prisoners. And we have... Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Got the... the adventurer. Pisses the dragon off. Dragon is up to the next level of rage, but is worth three points to me. Uh, and this one is oh, heal one. I got it at the same time when I didn't need to heal. And I don't well. need to heal. I know that was lame. Remember when I remember that time that I that I had the minor secret and I said there's no reason to hold on to it. Yeah, maybe I am maybe should have. Such a liar. Yeah, keep until you use it on the minor secret. The prisoner is, yeah, uh, immediately heal one. It's also worth two points at the end of the game. Well, so much for that point of healing. Still um, five points, but yeah. Yeah. I do have four to buy. I am all out of boots. So how about that? I think I'm going to use the darkened alcove to get, uh, to, uh, Get minus two clank, even though I only have one clank. I mean, this could be super dangerous for me. But there's not a lot I can afford. Maybe I just take the explore. Which is going to give me a boot. And remember that card where if I get six points of skill, I can get stuff? Yeah, that might be nice someday. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Notice we are all out of purple tiles. We are now going into the depths. Huh. Steph hits a way fairer point, whatever it's called, and then she gets a single gold coin for that. I throw in a clank, but I'm not going to do the darken alcove. You are going to do that to get, get rid of your our other one. Yeah. And I'll spend two on the mercenary. Two on a mercenary. Sure. Need more swords. Seems good. All right, flip the... Flip it on. How about a robbery? Uh, a choir, you can put it on top of your deck. It gives you two gold. And if you're in a market room, teleport to an adjacent room. Well, this is not a good time to get five swords. This sword. However, it's not, it's not exactly. It's not it's terrible. Not. It's not not. Uh, I do have three to buy. The smash and grab is two clank and draw two cards. I do have something in my deck that gets rid of clank, but man, you don't want to be. Pushing your luck too much on that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my boot to go off. If I go this way and buy the minor secret. If I go this way, I'm not by the minor secret. And I'm going off sort of on out into the wild blue yonder here. <laughs> Don't be up. It's a little scary. And that's why I went with Michael to start. Because <laughs> you don't want to get too crazy. All right, I'm using one sword on the critter. Oh, my goodness. Haunted. It is super haunted. Eh. 
How about a ghost? You can turn it a different way if you want. So. I, I could go this way <laughs> and totally skip it. Why would you? Well, you don't need the heart. I don't need the heart. That's true. Whee! Oh. Scooting right on past the ghost. It's going to be another haunted. Uh, and using my second sword. I wasn't planning on using both swords. Oh, and I get to draw a card. Mm. Well, that was okay, I guess. <laughs> wow. wow. That's a lot of monsters. Look at the monsters. Good thing you had all those swords. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay, so let's explain this. This is for an artifact. Notice it has two pluses on it. It We dig too deep for an artifact. So we don't put the five, we don't put the seven, we put the ten. So Steph, if you will go too deep, I think it's the ten anyway. Too deep is indeed the ten artifact. This is that tile that made me slow last time. I'm really glad I didn't pick that one up. Wow, I mean, I've used my entire storehouse of little monsters. My goodness. You can go get a treasure. I can get a treasure since I stopped there. I don't have any more boots anyway, but dang, I've used four of my five swords. Oh, there's my minus two clank card. Get rid of the white one. <laughs> I wish I could. I truly wish I could. So I'm gonna use the lockpick on the treasure. Give me the give me the major secret. Oh yeah, that one. Five money. I like money. Well, do it. I am down to one lockpick. So I'm a little worried about that. Especially since there's a lock right here that I have to get in. Unless I go back that way. That's so slow. Crystal, crystal, crystal. You could go get this and come back. Uh, yeah, if I've got swords. You could take damage. Whether I get swords or not depends <laughs> on what I do. There's also a lock there. <laughs> well, that's that's another problem. So it all depends on where my swords are, because I've got a lot of my swords already invested right here. It is it is a little scary. Yeah. And that's do I even want this ten? Yep, that's a question. Now the two player game, the ten's not so bad. It's not so good, is it? I mean, you know. Anyway, uh, two, three, four, minus two clank. Since I'm not going to buy anything with clank, I might as well just get rid of it. That's three, six, seven, five, five, five. Everything is just way too expensive in this spot. Way too expensive. Tell me about it. I know. Kind of slows down the dragon a little bit, though, so kind of fine. Kind of fine. Kind of not fine. Could get two mercenaries, could get some... Ex I mean, if I'm going to be slow walking this thing, I don't need boots as much. I just feel like I'm so dang slow. Got a couple of boots here. Smash and grab. Plus two clank. Draw two cards. I hope I get my plus two and my minus two at good times. And another smash and grab. Pops up right behind it. Senor Azul says, push it. Push it real good. What's a smash and grab? Plus two clan, draw two cards. Yeah. You should see. If you can see Steph's face. I have four movement. Is there a, four. Is there a line below our thing in between Steph and Michael? No, it's just the other table. You have four? Four is terrible for this. And four boots. That's what I mean. Four boots. Oh, I thought you meant four skills. But I have to go no. I have to go through 
a monster, so. Ouch. Going through a monster, taking a tile. Please be good. No. <laughs> Smash and grab does sound like something as, uh, that Azul would do. We will move this off so Steph can cry about her tile. It's got prisoners, but I don't think I want to go that way. So I'm going to be there. You don't have seven gold. No. How about a five artifact? I'm going to go. Whoa. That is your second boot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's I guess. I guess I'm stopping is what that comes down to. <laughs> Because she has no swords. How about three gold? Yeah, but I don't have my cool card that's like, if you get three gold. Yeah, gain a heart. <laughs> yeah, not today. Dang. All right, I will pick the lock and see what I get. My a major secret. Five extra to buy. Whoa, five skill. I gave you the clank for that, right? Yes, you did. Great. So maybe I'll use that. That's you have nine. nine. What is that lovely boot card right there? This one? Yeah. Worth two. It's it's worth some amount. Two for each artifact and monkey idol. So hmm. let's, let's assume you get an artifact. That's four point card. It's not as good as this yet. But if you get more monkey idols, it would be. But it's three. It's also three freaking boots, as you mentioned. But I also get... Three boots when I acquire it, which is useless. Like I'm the turn of boots, and I go two spades. It's so bad, and nothing gives you immediate swords, right? No. What's the two? What's the five card robbery? The, the, this five is robbery. It it goes on top of your deck. Yeah. Uh, two coins, and if you're in a market room when you draw it, teleport to an adjacent room. Which, unfortunately... No, but what what does it say at the bottom? You can put it on top of your deck. That's what goes on my Which deck. is what I just said. <laughs> mm. I have to do that. You have to do that. I need swords next turn or I'm not moving. Oh anymore. my goodness, yes. You're correct. That's on so top we'll of your spend deck. That. So that is five. You still have four. I will buy an Esplor. You still have one. I can't do one. nothing for that. Can't do nothing. How about a Rebel Scribe? If you have another companion in your play area, draw a card. Uh, this is the worst. Burgle, burgle, burgle. Stumble, stumble. Stumble, stumble. That's my stumble stumble. Sounds really bad. That is really, really bad. And at this point, I think I will have to buy an explorer. Man, that stinking clank. Mm -hmm. Hoping for that minus two clank. Come on, go. Buying these prevents you from <laughs> making the dragon mad. Pro tip. Yay, I got some swords. Yay, good job. With the movement. So let's go this way. This way. What do I do? What's this? What's this? Um, Actually, I need to bring this down a little bit for the camera. This is here. Whoa. Look how cool some of these paths are. Alright, that's two swords and a boot. How about how boot that? That's a lot of monsters up there, stuff. Oh no. Notice there's a portal on this one. I get two money. Two money. The goblin for three money. For the the third money, and now that you have three, draw a I, card. I got another. I'll boot that. So I used all my swords, though, so I might not want another boot. Here's a clank. 
you needed to do that for your for the goblin. Yeah. So there's that. And I will release the prisoners. All right, two prisoners. Why can't you put this on the thing? What's this? What is it? It's a monkey idol. What? Wow, I should have bought that card. <laughs> Still there. Uh, that one is actually a golden monkey bot. It counts as a monkey idol for all purposes, but it is worth three instead of five. What's and what this? else? You I see don't know. This. this is a sorceress. She's worth five at the end of the game. If you have at least two secret oh, tones. Oh, God. That's not going to happen. Two secret tones. Otherwise, she's not worth anything. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I have five. You have five? You can purchase some things. However, although this is minus two clank and drawing a card, when you acquire it, it's plus two clank. I could also take a damage and go further. <laughs> this is why Jelfia did not vote for you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure I'll find a room with a heart, right? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, most assuredly you will find a room with a heart. I think you just go for it. Mm. Let's go. What's the egg? What's the egg? This that I told you, it's minus two clank and draw a card. However, when you Plus acquire two. it, you get two clank. So bad. So bad. Probably shouldn't have told you earlier. I should plan out my horrible turn. Oh man, I can go further. I know it hurts, doesn't it? Got it. I've got to know what's there. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> More damage, cause what? Let's see. More damage. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm there is a heart, but it's. Followed by another damage. Well, it's preceded by another damage. Yeah, it's not great. No. Any more lock picks? Yeah, you and I are both low on lock picks. Ah, uh, she's going back for the monkey aisles. Can, can you see it? You can see it in her eyes. This version seems to push against the players more than the original did. I really like it. I agree 100%. Not that I've played the original, but I think I've played enough of Clank in Space to to get a feel for how the original did or didn't push. What do you say? Because you've played both. Um, I say I need the Explore Guide. What? Expert Guide or whatever. It's for this one. Oh, I only have four. That's five. Oh, I miscalculated. What? I only have four. Yeah, that's not five. I thought I had five. Uh, I thought you had five too, but I don't. You said the word five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take a mercenary. That's Need swords. Do you want two of them? No. You just gonna give up the other two? Yeah, because I don't see anything else worth two. Other than one. one. What does that do for me? It's a rebel scribe. If you have another companion in your play area, draw a card. Of course, it depends on whether you have companions don't want in it. your deck. Don't, I don't want, want it. it. Well, the dragon's going to come out and eat my face. That's part of the problem. I am so glad you didn't do that. You know why? Because you're Minus two claims. <laughs> Oh, that's my color, but I'll take it. <laughs> How about the other color? Yep. How about the other color? <laughs> All right, here's the question. Here is the question. I have two boots. Hey, boot deck. I have three swords. I have four to buy. Which direction do I go? <laughs> I don't have any hearts built up. I think I go up and just not take this artifact. So this is a little bit of a... You're crazy. 
Well, you do it. Well, I mean, it says the girl who's the way up here. <laughs> I'm right next to the purple room. I'm I ready. get. I'm ready to leave it. I get another time. plus, which is a better artifact than was right there. Give me that 15? Is there not a 12? I put the 12 you out. Put 12. That's so good. It's not good for me. No, that's really good for. Oh, I can do this. I lost the demons in the way. Yeah, but I have three swords. You do. That makes sense. And I do have a, I do have a path out. Yep. If I'm just going to go. You also have a path out, which is good for you. Hmm. I need more lockpicks. You need more lockpicks? Very wrist K. Oh, wrist K. Wrist K. <laughs> Shannon, why'd you vote for me? <laughs> that was a mistake. On rare occasions, I win this game. 15 bananas. Golden bananas. No. Yes. I do have one more boot. I'll boot that. So you don't have a sword. Might as well take damage, though. You know what? Actually, if I. What happens if I place this this way? I don't have a way out, is what that means. I've got to do this. I've got to do it this way. I don't have a sword, but I can take a damage because I haven't taken a lot of damage. That's risky. Well, that's not as risky as what you've been doing. My goodness. It's fine. I, Everything's fine. Everything is just fine. I have four... To buy. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like that. I like taking the long shots. Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm just hanging out near the purple zone. It's fine. Everything right. is fine. I'm all out of picks. I'm so lost without them. Hey, I'm hanging out by the hearts as well. Uh, yes, I'm gonna, you I'm are. I'm going to heal right up. Yes, you are. Yes, I am. Yes, you am. Do you want to get the smash and grab? <laughs> that's, a, that's the question. It is a risk. Yep. And it's draw two more cards. I just don't see a lot down here that's worth buying. See, the explorer is not a companion. The mercenary is a companion. I don't get why, though. Because the explorer, it's not an explorer. It's just explore. And Arizona says do it. I'm going to get the explorer and do it. Me. One, two, three, four, and five. I did not take the smash and grab. I got a clank coming in. Incoming clank. I'm going to move in, pick up this lovely artifact. And make the dragon mad. Use my last lock pick to go through this and heal one. Yeah, I need that uh, heal. All right. That's me. Oh, I got four. You get four to buy. They're all so bad. They're all so bad. That's why I didn't buy any. First one up there. Smash and grab. Plus two clank. Draw two cards. It's still so bad. <laughs> you know what? It was bad before and it's still bad now. Guess what? It's still bad. I'm going to take the nest floors. That's what I did. I need to get some tones. That's what I did. So here's the push your luck portion of the program. Ugh. Draw a card. Yeah. Plus two clank. Draw two cards. One. Two. Buckle my shoe. Fortunately, it's going in my discard late. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I don't have to encounter it twice. Just worth points to you. Two. It, it is, uh, I, I like the points. 
Well, well, well. What? Oh. Two, four, six, seven, eight, and another side step. If I generate six or more this turn, heal up. That's so good. So I did. I have eight to buy. I have a lot of steps. If I get this, you I've get got more steps. three more steps. Here's the question. I have seen times that you walk over here and then things turn 180 degrees and you're screwed for life. Hmm. But I need lock picks. I need me too. I need extra things. Last time I had lock picks. I don't know why it's so hard this time. Yeah, I had I had, I was like swimming in lock picks when we played with James and Susan. One. Good luck. That's one. I'm gonna tap that. How about a lot of stuff? Play it fair. That is. And it takes me down to the artifact. This does not look bad, but I don't have the lockpick unless I get it in the secret room. This is a market you can buy more lockpicks. I can picks. buy lockpicks. Maybe worth it. Don't know. But then I can't get to the other stuff mm -hmm. because it's basically cut off. I could free some prisoners. But it would take both lockpicks to free those prisoners. That's a question. Not convinced. Not 100% convinced it's worth it. Don't know. That's only a gold. So that's sort of Whoa! Hey, B&B &B Tabletop, Raiden with a party of seven. We are playing Clank Catacombs. Clank what Catacombs. What y'all doing? Freedom! So, the two lockpicks yeah. loses me five points. I'd have to get five points, and it's not, not terribly likely I'm going to get five points on two... on two... Uh, Prisoners. That backpack, though. That backpack. You can get another artifact. That backpack, I can get another artifact. Clank Suburban Sprawl. <laughs> <laughs> is that what this is? No, that's what uh, Gator Dave can't wait for. Nice. All right, I'm going to go here. Give me my free minor secret. What is it? Heart. I'm saving it. <laughs> probably wise. Probably wise. Figure out how to get points in this game. Yeah, that I'm not I'm sure. a hard time. That I'm not sure how to do. See, I don't have any. I don't even have any markets on this side of the board. I need you right there. All right, trace me a path. That's amazing. I did not know. <laughs> I did not know that the small friend made this go around like that. Yep. Two, using half of these swords, and my second boot, and here's my third boot. To draw this. I'll boot that. No. Well, you're right. It really does go around like that. Give me that minor secret. That's a boot. <laughs> Probably don't need it, but. Well, it depends on whether I want to buy that seven or not. So you're at how many? You've done three moves? I've done three, all three of my given moves here. Got it. I have eight to spend. If nothing else, this stops you from getting points for it and gives me three boots. 
now and later. So, I have one more to spend. I'm probably not going to get it. So, three more boots. One more sword. One. Got there. That would be insane going down that way. That's one. And that gives me a gold. Yep. Two. Using my second sword. Um, time out. This should have an artifact. This should have an artifact. And this will have an artifact. The last one. That is the last one. Wow. Unfortunately, I can't touch it. <laughs> Um, is this how I want it to be? Sure. And that is three. I have eight coins. Yeah. Spend them all. I will spend seven on a backpack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> No joke. Surprise there. No surprise there. And, uh, yeah, I believe that is everything on these cards. Yeah, it seems good enough. Oh, no, I can't do it. No, I figured you weren't going to because you bought the backpack. Well, now let me, th I, I don't have a way out is the problem. Don't I thought I had a way out, but these these don't connect, and that is a lock. That's a mighty fine predicament I've gotten myself into. Because I can also not get to that. I can get to that. That's not horrible. There are worse things in in life than taking. The, the golden, seventeen point. The seventeen point maze. Was me. Oh my goodness! No dragon attack. You're in luck. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I got two movement. Oh no! I don't have any lock picks. Oh no! I'm gonna go here. What? Fighting this guy with one of my swords. Yep. Getting this. Yep. What's this? It says, I don't know. It says, <laughs> it's very cryptic. It looks like a, it looks like a puzzle box. Keep this token until you enter a way shrine. There, return the token to the box and get a major secret. Oh my God. All right. Gonna so we got a, a pile of tokens over there that you can't see. What is this? What is what? This? Yeah. Trash a burgle in your play area or discard pile. I'll take it with an explore. With an explore. You want this? It's not a dragon. Nope. Take a lockpick! Yeah, that's maybe that's how that's how we got That would the... be nice. However... Well, I have not found a way to trash this to teleport from a way shrine to another. I don't have a lot this time. And I can't even kill the key master or the gatekeeper. That's one. I can go to the next spot. That's terrible. But it would cost me a life, and I don't think it's worth it. You're at zero health damage. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, but the dragon's going to start about to pull a billion cubes from the bag at a time. One billion cubes. <laughs> billion cubes. 
and there's just not a lot out here that's worth grabbing. There's just not a lot. I'm gonna take another explore. <laughs> Taking the safe way out. What you do? I'm gonna move and get a heart. <laughs> and then I have six to buy. Is there anything for six over there? Yes, there are. Everything is six or less. Minus two clank, each other player gets two clank on a choir. Plus yeah, two clank. Let's do it. You want that? Yeah, sure. And then what? That's it. That was a very uneventful turn. And no dragon attack. Whoa, look at all those swords. I know. I need that for that room. Yeah, me too. I have three swords, but I have no mood. And I have plus two clank, and I have minus two clank. So I have no net clank. I have two to buy. Probably not going to buy a whole lot because, <laughs> <laughs> yikes. 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 Schnoikies. Uh, I might as well spend this to get my one extra. Ta-da. Ta-da. That way I'm not wasting those swords. The other two swords, I'm taking a lock pick. Yeah. What's this? No dragon attack. Whoa. Thank goodness. Whoops, don't put that in my paw. That's a monster. Me. One. I got a clank. You didn't even have it anyway. I got what? Don't got any what? You did not even have a sword anyway. No. I'm going. Going. One. One. You have two left. Two. That's a minor secret. Oh. That's another one. <laughs> another puzzle box. Three. You can't even see it, guys. This is she's keeping them off, off screen. Oh. Hey, Steph, do you like ghosts? No. How about them ghosts? No. You probably don't want to buy anything from the dungeon row then. <laughs> you want to do it this way. Two? Then I have three. Oh, that is three. No, sorry, five. You're gonna have five to buy. You know what? You could buy anything except for that soul drinker. Oh. Oh. I'll buy the two footy print one. Two footy print expert guide. Yeah. It's also worth three points, I think. Two. One, two, three, four, five. Night, guys. Night, blood. Night, night's bloody. Um. Pass bloody. Split says, go, Michael. Flip the card. Flip the card. This card. No. Oh, oh, no. No. No, no, no. Look at all that trash. Can we pull four? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. This is the fun part of collecting. <laughs> and by fun, you mean Terrifying. deadly. How about two me's? It could be worse. Uh, yeah, it could be two you's. Yeah. <laughs> or four me's. Yep. Do you think you're coming over here is what you're coming to? I can't even pick it up, so I was hoping there'd be a market. Oh, you can't pick it up? What? So yeah, I've got I've got problems. I can trash this to teleport from one way shrine to another. Yeah. Cool. Teleport. Yep. Two gold. Why two? One, two. It adds up all of your every time you get one extra more gold. Oh, I thought it was the number in the room. The number in the room. Like, you, there's one cube here, so you get one. Like, if I had a cube there, you'd get two. No, it's one per player. Each person can place once. Who placed it? 
go back the other way. The top of the right page. You may mark it during your turn. Take one of the cubes from your supply. Place it on an empty space. If you do, take one gold from the bank for every way shrine you've marked during the game. Your first way shrine is worth one gold. Your second is worth two gold. Your third is marked three gold. So I think I did that wrong. I lost one. No, I wouldn't let you have done it. Because you can't put two on the same way shrine. I didn't put two. I'm just saying I, I, every time I took one cube because I was like the first one there. One coin because I was the first one there. Everyone else is doing gray. I don't know. You cannot mark the same way shrine more than once. You cannot mark a way shrine if you have no cubes remaining. So... There you have it. Where am I? I am going to take some damage. Uh, plus one clank. Oops. Sorry. One movement. Ouch. Two movement. Three movement. Yeah. I yoink that artifact. I have four to buy. Hmm. I can I can put this on top of my deck. That seems really good. Because I'm about to be where there are a lot of crystal caves. Whoa! Level up. <laughs> that is a level up for sure. What is the deal with this uh, token? It's got like... You could not have moved past... Or did you teleport out of there? Oh! That is a crystal cave. Yeah. I cannot teleport out of there. Thank you. I did not see it for that big honking artifact sitting there. Well, then that's even more reason to take this. Voop. Did it. All right, flip. That's three. Do I want this rebel scribe? He's worth a point. I mean, sure. I mean, what what's going to happen here? I couldn't get a dragon attack. I mean, maybe I could. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gotten that. I'm just saying. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Welcome to the damage party. One, two, three, four, five. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the new card that came out? What's the new card? Use the Darken Alcove my minus two clank. Draw two cards. You don't have to stop in Crystal Caves this turn. Because you have a Crystal Compass. Hmm. Hmm. Really good. Um, well, I have three movement. I'm going to go there. Get two money. That's two money. And you're using one of your 17 swords. Yep. You do have a lot of swords. Two, three. You've used two swords. Oh, I got two dollars. That seems really good. That means I get to draw a card. Yep, because of your pillage. Dang it. <laughs> um, what does the killing the monster do for me? I don't have to stop in crystals. No. Fight the crystal kobold only in a crystal cave or a way shrine. If you defeat it, you get two skill. Oh. Two skill. And you have to defeat it in certain places. Yeah. You have done two swords. You could do it. I could have done it. If you want to do it when you're back but there, I will allow it. It's not. Yeah, it's not. No, you would not have had that clank. You are, you do have one here. I can't get there. I've used my three foot. One. You have used it already. One, two, two three. three. Did it. 
Mm. I guess I'm killing the goblin twice. That's two more two more gold boosts. And four. I guess. Um minus two clank. Plus two clank. This is immediate. This is plus two clank, draw two cards when you use it, but it's also two points. We're at the part of the game where we start thinking about just grabbing points. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Smash and grab? Yeah. And we reveal dragon attack. No, uh, no it's the worst time for it. And it has a four sword thing, huh? Uh, yes. All right, let's go, yellow. <laughs> let's go. What do you mean, let's go yellow? Wait a second. I don't oh, like them. I forgot. When I was in the Wayfair, I meant to turn in my crates. Uh, yes. Get two major secrets. That might have made a difference. That looks like two heal. I can't see the other one. It allows me to go on arrows back and forth. I have the map. Yay. That's what I had last time. Do you want to use that or no? No, I'll just suffer another turn. Uh, I'm definitely using mine because now that I'm remembering to use it. Time to do it so I don't die. All right. Sadly, I don't have any clank in there. Three, four, five, six, seven. I've got seven. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is this. Two, four, five, six, seven. If I'm in a crystal clave, minus two clank. Minus two clank. I'm here. I don't have any clank. But if I acquire this, I've got plus two that immediately comes off. So that seems really good. Um... So that was worth five. I have two more I can use. Don't really need anything else. I've got two I can move, and I do have a sword, so... Uh. And stop. One, two, three, four, five. We reveal a dragon attack. Five more every, steps. Every freaking turn. Yikes. So, the white means <clears throat> we both take a damage. So I'm up to five. Steph is up to eight. Well, I'm going to heal two of it right now. <clears throat> Six. All right. I'm going to do plus two clank and draw two cards. Plus two clank and draw two cards. You smashing and grabbing. Terrible. Cast some burgles. Trash a burglar in your play area or discard. Okay. Well. I see you're staying in the purple zone. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm going to go one. Oh, I see two. you're out of the purple zone. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm not winning this game, so I have to figure out how I can win it. I'm not dying. Hmm. Sure. That looks like three gold. One, two. Yeah. Throw your little marker on it. <clears throat> three. That's a minor secret. You got two swords. Two swords. And I'm going to trash the burglar. I'm still Burgle? looking for a market, and it's just like so bad. I can't it's find a market. Um, I probably should have stayed up closer. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I have. Oh, and I get two for my card. Legends is all team stuff. I'm going to die in a minute. <laughs> so I have five to buy. Is there anything worth five in points? Uh, six, six, 
two no points. Sword, sword, sword. All right, I guess I'm done. You. Yeah, I am in a really bad situation. Yeah, Plus good. two clank. Draw two cards. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not dead yet. Here's the worst part. Plus one clank. Draw no cards. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> two, three, four, five, and three boogity boogity boogities. Get out of here as quick as we can. Minor secret. Hello, minor secret. I can't reach them. It's a healing. I should probably take it. Zoink. Two. Three. And lose. The only reason I'm doing that is because I might die. I have five to buy. I needed six to buy. I'll do. I've got to do this. Minus two clank. You don't got to do it. I mean, I don't got to. All right. Lord, I don't got to. Flip it and I do. That's two. Do I want anything else? Probably not. It is your doom. And pull plus one cube. Six cubes coming. Six cubes coming. Incoming. All yellow. This is why I went to the purple zone. Four. Five, six. Two red, one yellow. Not dead yet. Probably dead in a minute. Not yet. And then when she makes it out, she draws four, exactly four cubes on her turn. After adding the cubes into the clank bag. There's a clank. I have six to fight. Oh, what do those goodness. bonuses give me? Hello? I need what? you to read those bonuses. Your feet, you get five coins, or if you're in a market room, take a market room at no cost. This is the same. Ugh. If you defeat a monster in the dungeon row this turn, take a heart. No. That's that thing, and it's worth three points. Fight this only in a crystal cave mm -hmm. or a way shrine. If you defeat it, you get two skill. Rargle. Each other player gets plus one clank. If that, if you have a crown, they get plus two clank instead. Only when you pull it. That's how I killed you and James and Susan off. That was so mean. That was so mean. But I needed a companion, so. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is kill a monster that's four of them. All right, that's five. Are you? You're not in a market room, so no. five coins. Five coins. Seems good. Sure. And then I'm going to kill the one for two. Are you in a crystal cave? Now yes. you are. And the wayfarer, you said, right? Or a way shrine, yes. Uh, so that's two skill. You currently have two, four, five, six to buy. Yeah. But this mm -hmm. is cool. They're both three points. Draw two cards. You don't have to stop in crystal caves. And this is if you defeat a monster in the dungeon row, get a heart. Steph, look at it this way. You're winning the dragon clank race. Um. <laughs> oh, I did gain at least three. I draw a card. Did you get three? Good job. Yeah, you, go. you did. That draw that card. Yes. Yes. It's a movement. <laughs> Yay. Okay, cool. What's this? It's a pick. How about a luck pick? Cool. Turn it in, get a luck pick. Yeah, that one you don't keep. All right. Well, that makes me a little bit happier. Oh, what a kill. Why? Because of the damage? Yeah. Well, you're in the purple zone. That's true. I would still be in the purple zone. Still in the purple zone. All right. First, I'm going to spend my lock pick because it was so easily, easy come, easy go for a tome. Out of the library? Yeah. Seems good. Seven points. And I have six to buy. Well, I am going to take the damage and go there because I already flipped the thing. Oh, I can't do it in that order. What order? I did it all backwards, so I can't do this. You can't do that because you didn't have the pick. I didn't have the pick. So okay. I do have You're to... trying to retcon. You I can't to... retcon. I can't retcon. No. I'm doing it too fast. Okay. You are. So I have the pick still. Fine. 
Yes. And I will... I have six to buy, which is not seven. So that's six. Terrible. I mean, these are three apiece. Yeah, but the tome. Yeah. If I could get two freaking tomes, it would be great. Two freaking tomes. Anyway, let's see if I survive another round. So I'll just take the four swords. Swords ain't good. Sure. All right. You have three cards to turn up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a dragon's yeah. attack. So it's. Here's your here's your one cube. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh -huh. I'm pulling an extra one too. Uh, yes, you are. Cubes in this bag. There's a lot more cubes when more people play. Uh, yes. Uh, if we run out of cubes, I think that might be a loss condition. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. That is six. You almost died. I uh, almost died, but I am almost out too. So, but I'm not gonna make it out. Oh, uh, you are dead. I died. But I still score because I made it to the purple zone. Good thing you made it to the purple zone. Well, no, because I killed myself because I only pulled one red. The chances of me pulling two red were high, though. Yes. All right. Uh, that's five attack. Here's the problem. I have one boot. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere for you to go. And this is all against the stream, so I'm just sitting here until I draw two. Yeah. Pretty much. Yep. That's four to buy, but I think getting anything here is setting myself up to die. How many cubes we got? A lot. Uh, if there are no cubes left, It's under 10. Two of which are white. Uh, Yay. It, it doesn't say. Where is it? In the rare case that the dragon bag is empty after an attack, the game ends immediately. All remaining players are knocked out. Dead. In other words. In other words. Dead. Dead. Well, I should definitely kill the ogre merchant yeah. for five. I mean, it's five points. Why would I not do that? Even if I get knocked out, that seems like a good thing to do. Yep. Then I have four to buy. He is worth one. He is worth two. And that's one less to pull for dragon attacks. It, and then, and then, and then, Michael killed me. No, the dragon killed you. I was just here to watch. No, Michael killed me this game. No, and no. Arrive, mm -hmm. all players get plus one clank. This goes in, actually. Yeah, because I'm pulling. And you are pulling five cubes. Four cubes. Four cubes. I, it takes me exact, it'll take me at least two turns to get out. And it doesn't matter because that's two yellow cubes. Did I have enough in the next two turns to get out? Let's see. There's two boots and draw two cards, which should not have. There were mattered. a ton of yellow in there, so and white. And then draw five more. One, two, three, four. I did not have enough to get out even on the second turn. Yeah. So that was it. We don't get this, but we're both in the purple, so we count our points. Yeah, but he gets what like we got a billion. Is what we've got. Yeah, because I could get two artifacts. Yeah. That was really good. Find another market to buy. Ugh. That was rough. Seventy four. Sixty one. You had what? That's not as bad as you thought. Seventy four. 
I did not beat you by that much. Have you, if you had headed for the exit, you would have won. But you kept one <laughs> around here. 61, yeah. Because I didn't get five points for the, t the tomes. Right. Couldn't get one tome. Um, but you did get everything else that you wanted. No. <laughs> not true. Not true. Not true. Oof. Sorry, Shano. I let you down. I realized the game was almost over, so I'll wait a few minutes and see who won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew I was going to lose. But hey, I got to score points, so there is that. Whoa, I had only 14% of the of the coins of the geek of the Steph's Awesome Channel points. So it looks like Jelfia might be the big winner. Let's see. Seems good. I collected a lot of coins that game. 140 go to Jelfie and Splutty. So you didn't spend a whole lot, is what you're saying. <laughs> I didn't I didn't have a whole lot of um I, I got more coins than I normally do. Mm hmm So that was interesting. I like trying to find the way shrine and spaces. Yes. I think that's really? fun. That's definitely new. Yeah. I like the new. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, as I really like this edition. I do think they are think getting better as they come out with new Clank editions. So I, I, I think they're learning and tweaking and everything. So I, I think this is a keeper to be honest. Yeah, it was a good so, game. Um, do you like me some Clanks? Yep, absolutely. And uh, yeah, Direwolf did a great job with this. Component quality is exactly like you would expect um, for the original Clank series. And so you're not getting a downgrade of quality, even though this is not a Renegade title. Um, it seems just like the other Clank versions. So these uh, these dungeon tiles are nice and thick and nice, colorful graphics. So um, seems like they did a really good job. They also did a great job with, you know, instead of having forest, you've got the crystals. So it, it simulates what the forests were in the original clank or what i assume was in the original clank because um legacy had forests yeah legacy yeah so i don't know what original clank had they had similar rooms i i just forget that that stop your movement it might basically. be the same thing same idea same idea so yeah. definitely check out clank catacombs from yeah. direwolf um, yeah, we, uh, we love Clank in space and I think that this will, uh, ha this does not fire Clank in space, um, but it might just fire Clank. So, um, uh, be he sure. He still hasn't played it. I'm sure I still, I still haven't played, played Clank. He'd be like, this is one of the best games of the month because he loves Clank. <laughs> so. Well, we'll see. It's just a matter of, you know, if you like the system or not. And if you like Clank, then oh. you should definitely check this one out. Exactly, for sure. Yeah. We'll be right back. Yeah.